All right, guys. So we've talked lately about this Dell dude, right? We talked about this tweet, talked about the realization he had where even though he doesn't seem to like gamers, uh, he agrees that the gamers have been right with our criticisms of these various AAA corpos. Well, we have a crazy update to the situation because it turns out it looks like this guy, as of his more recent tweet here, as you can see, he's been told by the industry to hush up. He's not allowed to talk about this topic. He's not allowed to criticize the fact that they make female characters uglier. It's just been such an interesting thing to see where this guy comes to the realization that gamers have been right about these issues. Although he, once again, he says he like hates admitting it or whatever. And then we're so right about it that they're actually trying to hush this guy up. Like they're literally censoring this dude from having a conversation about this stuff. It's unfortunate that Dell is so easily capitulating to these people. He's just like bowing his head and moving right along. Okay, they told me to be quiet. All right, it's not for discussion or anything. That's what I'm going to do. It's another example of how extremely corrupt the AAA gaming space is. Because to backtrack just a little bit, Dell previously went viral during Pal World, where he was one of many AAA studio devs who were insulting indie devs and sharing false accusations about Pal World. Many of these AAA people hate how their games are flopping and how successful indie games are in comparison. And it's no coincidence that Dell and these others were targeting indie devs together. And it's also no coincidence that when Dell gives a little bit of slight criticism back to the AAA side of things, well, they come out and silence this dude real quick. And what's going on here is also extremely racist, because at the top of the AAA industry, it's mostly white people. And you know the type that we're talking about here, the virtue signaling sort, who pretend to be champions for minorities. But in reality, they're extremely racist people, and they only use minorities to try and secure ESG metrics and DEI funding. And then while these companies make hundreds of millions or billions, then they trickle down the tiniest fraction to the chosen few black people that they work with. Then if any of them so much as even slightly speaks on the issues in the AAA space, AAA industry, then they get forced into silence. And that's exactly why these AAA corpos and their journo buddies are afraid of people like you and myself. It's because they got no control over us and they can't stop us from talking about the issues in the AAA industry. And so they resort to their lies and their smears and all that other really pathetic stuff. But the good news is, in 2024, more people than ever are aware of what's going on and they see these liars for what they really are. But anyways, that's all I got to say on this crazy update. Hope you enjoyed my coverage. If you did, consider liking and or subscribing. As always, appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.